Hello everybody and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an adjustable strap. I usually put these on my messenger bags or my crossbody bags like this one right here. Um, if you're interested in this bag I can link it in the description so you can check it out. Um, this strap is actually removable so let me go over the materials that you will need. You're going to need a long piece of fabric, color of your choice. Um, this one is 3 inches by 44. Um, it needs to be super long because it's adjustable, so you need to have room for it to shrink and, and lengthen. You're also going to need fusible interfacing, which I have already applied to my fabric. And you're also going to need an adjustable buckle, a little buckle. This one is one and a half, I think, one and a half inches. No, just one inch, just one inch long. And you're also gonna need um, some D-rings or something to attach the strap to. These have uh, lobster claws on the end. Um, so that way I can, you know, when the strap is all made, it can be removable. You'll also need some pins, a sewing machine, some thread, a scissors, and a loop turner. Now this thing is great if you don't have one and you're Hi. trying to make a strap. Hi Danny. Thank if you. you don't have one and you're trying to make a strap, your life is going to be a whole lot harder. So I suggest if you're going to make Hi. straps, Hi Danny, to invest in a loop turner. You can find these at Hobby Lobby. Um, I even saw one at Walmart the other day. Joann's, etc. So the way I like to do this is this is how I pin seam allowances. Yeah. I go down half an inch and pin it right at that point. And that's how I do it. And I keep my pins in until I sew and I don't know, that's easier for me. You don't have to do it like that. If you have another way, you can totally do it your own way. Oh, but this is just how I do it. All right, now that you've got the whole thing pinned, it is time to start sewing. All right, put press your foot down, remove your first pin, uh, start sewing. Make sure you back stitch a little and just keep going. Stop to remove pins. Now that your strap is completely sewn, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your loop turner, just like this, and you're going to put it in through one side of your strap, and you're going to push it all the way down just like this. Now turning a loop, it takes some getting used to. Um, sometimes I still have trouble right now, uh, especially for a strap that is this thin. Um, so you just hook, take the hook like that on the end and hook it over the edge of the fabric like that and start pulling. Now you're going to need to help the fabric um, turn, especially on this one that is thin. You're going to need to help it once it gets started, eventually, eventually, there we go, you can start pulling it through. Now be careful, I have ripped loops before, um, that's not fun, so be gentle with this, you don't want to go too crazy and pull it through. And once you have it through like this, I suggest taking it off the loop turner and just pulling it because that's how I ripped it. Okay. 
All right. And pull it through until it's all the way through. There you go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this to your ironing machine and press it down completely flat, all right? All right, so now that we have our strap completely pressed, and it's nice and flat now, um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna top stitch all the way around the entire strap. Um, this is optional, you don't have to do this, um, but I like to do it because it makes the bag, first of all, it makes it look a little more professional and it also looks, it also is more sturdy. You know, it doesn't feel like it's gonna come apart. Um, so you don't have to do this, but I like to do this with my straps. All right, now we got our bag completely top stitched. And this is what it looks like. See, that's, that's how I like it. All right, anyways, now time to start with the buckle. Now you got your buckle. And the way you're gonna do this is you're gonna take the end of your strap and you're gonna weave it through around this center metal part. You're gonna pull it through like this and you pull it through just a couple inches and you're gonna fold it back over just like this and you're gonna take this you're gonna fold this just a little bit I fold it once and then I fold it twice again actually if you want there's lots of excess thread on here so you can cut that away just like that okay Now, you can fold it once, fold it twice, like that. That's how it's folded. And you pull it over, and just like this. This is how you do your adjustable strap. Now, you need to sew this part down. Now, you might need a super thick needle um, because there's lots of uh, fabric to go through. Um, that's why I already have my, I think that's size 14 needle. Um, so what I like to do is I like to stitch it twice across, once and twice, and they're pretty close, and it's to keep this down, can you see that? It's kind of blurry. It's to keep it nice and secure from coming apart. Make sure you back stitch. So you got your presser foot down, bring the needle down, back stitch a little bit. And I always go slowly with this because there's lots of fabric it needs to catch. And back up. And there we go. All right, and now you remove your excess thread. Be careful not to cut away any um, that you don't want to cut away all right so yeah now you got one stitch but I like to do it twice just to give it um, an extra sturdy make it extra sturdy Cut away your excess thread. All right, and that's how you do this one side right here. Now your buckle is uh, nice and secure. Now sometimes I like to go across again here and make like an X, but you don't have to do that. I'm not going to do that today. 
because it's just a light crossbody bag. For my messenger bags, I definitely do that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you take your other end that nothing is through, and you're gonna take one of your D-rings, lobster claws, and you're gonna uh, feed it through all the way down, just like that. So now, oops, let's fix it. There we go. Now it's like that on one end, and you got your other two ends up here. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take this end that has nothing through it, and you're going to push it through the buckle, and back through like this. And you're going to pull. This is how you have an adjustable strap. Alright, now the last thing you're going to do, okay. thank you Danny, the last thing you're going to do is you're going to do basically what we did earlier with the buckle and you're going to do it the same thing with this uh, D-ring. So you pull it through just like we did earlier, a couple inches, fold it down once, fold it down a second time. And so, so it twice. Alright, and if you enjoyed this video, please let me know and thank you for watching.